been for a while that I did not make any video and today I am blessed to have this opportunity again to broadcast myself here at Peace Prayer TV a while ago I was able to communicate with a friend through that sent me a private message at Facebook Messenger and he asked for advice about what he will do on his personal life well I will not discuss about his life on this video but I want to share with everyone what I have realized every one of us has a has a divine spark in our life the divine goodness within us we all know what is good and what is bad so was in living our life we always try to live in a balanced manner where we balance between the negative and the positive in life we are born to have left hand and right hand so as in 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 most religious path nowadays i'm tired of hearing people that they are on the left hand path or they are on the right hand path for me there is no such thing as an extreme left or an extreme right both of them are important because as a human being we are born with both left hand and the right hand so as in living we are living through inspiration as well as through expiration in that case in our life we experience a happy moments in our life such as when we are uh, we when we are uh, uh, when we had life on earth when our mother gave birth to us and at the end of life we cry and mourn to the loss of our loved ones that is life but what is the benefit of life comparing the life that we have right now to those who have lived before in the past? When I visited the cemetery last time, I realized that how life import uh, how important life is. The difference between living and the non-living is that while we are alive we can do things well the dead cannot do anything at all life comes to us only once in this lifetime and after that we will die and in that our real self will be united to the source of living I don't want to discuss about things that I haven't experienced yet. Now, what I know is how to live life. I could not talk about that because I haven't been there. But as for now, I want to live my life. But how to live a life? How will you live your life? How are you living your life? In my life right now, what I realize is that life is not only happiness, but there is also loneliness, sadness. Not, life is not about being uh, life is not life is not all about enjoyment but life
life is also about toiling, working. Right now, I am in my workplace. I am in a place where allotted for me to have a rest, but still part of our workplace. But then, I ask myself, why? Do I work? What is the purpose of working, of earning money? To you, my friend, what is your purpose in life? Are you working right now? Are you earning money? Why do you need to earn money? For me, money is, is created by man. So it's not proper for us to ask God to give us money because I believe that everything that we need God had already provided since God already had provided everything for us what we need to do is to act and grab that opportunity to fill our life with the divine blessings that God had given already to us. Money is a need that been created by man. So if you need money in your life, you have to work to get it. But how will you have how will you earn money? On what way? Will you earn money? And yesterday as I walked to eat my dinner, I asked myself how to earn more money. Or how to earn money. And I found out that earning money is like eating food what kind of food will you eat everything in life has a process of intake and outtake such as the food that we eat we bring it into our mouth and after it is digested into our stomach the nutrients will be digested and supplied to all parts of the body and it will be excreted out our body such as the air we breathe we inhale oxygen and we breathe out the carbon dioxide everything has polarity in life so in living our life we must seek balance the balance of the negative and the positive. We should embrace the polarity that is within us. Because without the polarity, we are nothing. Since we are living here on this plane of existence where we are limited by time and space, our body has a limitation. As you can see me now, I may look young at this moment, at this present age, which is 2016, but after years to come, this body will wear off and will tear off. And some of you right now who are watching me, some are young, some are old some of you who are able and some are not able right now i would like to take this opportunity to pray for you who are watching me right now to you who are suffering from illness i pray for healing to you who are emotionally disturbed by the past I pray that you will be 
healed. Learn to let go, to open up your hands and give out all your worries. When your hands are open, it means you are also ready to receive new blessings in your life. Keep yourself empty. Do not fill yourself with worries and fear. Release everything that you have right now and accept the blessings of the divine that is coming in your way right now so until then may you all blessed be peace nangyari na pag-asap niyo